hey welcome so today i want to show you how to transcribe clean read but a longer version of the one that i had in in my previous video so let's get started i'd already started i'm about at this point but let's see. good evening sorry I'm making noise. so the speaker is whispering but she's saying sorry i'm a bit nervous then we omit the first good evening because she's repeating herself so we start with this good evening good evening dr cantu board so this dr cantu i've already searched for it over here over here i've already searched for it in google so you highlight it then you right click then you search for google here so dr cantu dr cantu board everyone my name is renisha peters so even this, you highlight it, you search for it, then after you get it, you come at the link here in glossary. To Peterson, and I have an interesting story. I have an... Sorry, Peter, come up there. And I have an... I have an interesting story, and I'm going to start with my truth. Five years ago, I moved to Dallas, and I had... So we search for this word because it's a it's a name of a place. So my network is a bit slow, so let's let it load. To Dallas, and I had no idea what it had in store. But I no idea what it had in store. What I had in store. What it had in store, but I knew about MISD. But I knew about MISD because we are talking about MSD over here. So I'll just say it's in the video notes because it's uh, here. Add to glossary. Say in the video notes, then save. So le let me come here. Welcome to the city of Dallas. Then I copy paste this link. Then I come here to Dallas. I highlight it. I add it to glossary. You ha you have to add every new term or name of a place, no name of a person. But I knew about MISD, and I knew I wanted to be a part of a great school district because I always knew that I was going to be a teacher and I was going to make an impact. I decided. In I decided in 20 so if it's one speaker unless you're told otherwise you should combine it in one paragraph 2022 that I was gonna follow my dreams and one of those dreams like and one of those and one of those dreams led me to be Miss Dallas USA Miss Dallas Dallas, USA. You miss Dallas, USA, where I will go on to represent. Where? So you have to be careful because some words sound the same. Where I will? Where I will go on to. I will. If it's I, I will, you write it as I will. If it's I'll, I apostrophe double L, you write it as that. So let's repeat it here. Miss Dallas, USA, where I will go on to represent. I will. Miss Dallas at the Miss. Miss Dallas, I think it's Miss Dallas. Miss Dallas at the Miss Texas, US. Miss, so we capitalize this. Texas USA pageant in 2023. After being crowned on October 9th, I decided, okay, it's my time to get back into education. And I took a leap. So we combine this and in Barbie, we don't start a sentence with and. <clears throat> and I took a leap of faith and I applied and I was able to be an educator in your amazing school district. And I really do appreciate We don't start the sentence with the end. And I really do appreciate, especially after hearing all the beautiful things that happen here. I knew and I am in the place. 
Good job, and here I knew and I am in the place that I'm meant to be. It wasn't until when I got hired and after I received my first and after when you want to go back to where you you just click to the point you want the video to start playing then you play it. It wasn't until when I got hired and after I received my first paycheck did I understand that that there are some things that weren't communicated in a way that and that there are some things that weren't communicated in a way that right there. that there are some things that weren't communicated in a way, way that impacted my life so of course there's some things that weren't communicated in a way that impacted my life so so we don't start the sentence with so so Of course, we know being hired after August, we're going to be receiving a different pay. However, after however, after getting information about how that worked, I realized that no matter when you start, you receive the same contract. So it doesn't specify contract. So it doesn't specify anything about how you will go about being paid at all. And I think that it's important. Don't start a, don't start a sentence with and. And I think that it's important that we're transparent with teachers to make sure that they can make decisions based upon the information that they're given, especially as a new hire, or especially as somebody that can graduate in December and just graduate after the time. And just graduate. Just graduate after the time. I think that it's important, and it start with practice. So this sentence, I think, yeah. And it start with practices that allow people to make really important decisions. Again, I am so. Again, I am. So and also, if you want to increase your speed, you can just click over here. Yeah, like that. But let's play with one because of you guys. But if you if you go improving your your typing speed, you will just improve. You just yeah. <laughs> Again, I am so thankful to be a part of Amazing School District, and I know that it have, may have impacted me. And, then, and I know that it have may. It. It have may have impacted me. Me, but I'm just here to advocate for somebody that it may impact in the future. So I just want to see. I just want. So I just want to see if we. Can Want. It's much wanted. Just want to see if we can get a contract that for people that get hired mm. can get a contract that for people that get hired after the start date that specifies how they can go about getting paid. Again, thank you so much. And my name is Renee. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Um, Ms. Cardoza, I know you spoke earlier. Was that, or did you want to speak? Earlier, was that, or did you want to speak? Hello. You spoke earlier, was that, or did you want to speak? Okay. Speaking. Okay, so let's continue. It stops. It stopped recording. So. Here, was that? Or did you want to speak? It? Okay. So that speaker is speaking on the in the background. So, I the audio tag over here. Okay. I did. Okay, it's a response to the person who is speaking. So it's a response. It's not a. It's not a filler word. I didn't want to not give you the opportunity. Thank you. This moves us to item nine, our human resources report. 9.1 specifically is for our 20 plus. Sorry, put up and step over there. One specifically is for our 20. Is for our 20 plus year recognitions. Ms. Thomas, would you like? recognitions. Ms. Thomas, would you like to share this with us? Yes. Um, share this with us? Yes. Um, we have four tonight and we have four. We have four tonight, and again, we, we appreciate uh, all the service that you all. We appreciate uh, all the service that you all have um, dedicated to MISD. So we have Gina Marriott um, in the special service department. She is 26 years. Let me search for this word, for this name of this person. Then you add the time to the glossary. This, I'll add it as a phonetic because I don't know where it's written. I'm Marriott um, in the Special Service Department. She is 26 years, 10 with MISD. MISD. Jason Roberts, uh, Mansfield High School. Jason Roberts, uh, Mansfield High School, 21 years. Old High School, 21 years, 15 of those with MISD. MISD. Uh, Miss uh, Shelley Taylor. So we search for this word. If you don't get it, you just search MSD. So as you can see over here, we there is a misspell, so we correct it. Shelley, then add the term. In, in glossary, then it say you found it online. And, yeah. hey, Taylor, she's in risk management. Uh, she had she's in risk management. Uh, she had twenty two. Uh, she had twenty two years, and twenty two of those were spent with MISD. Uh, MISD. MISD. Um, 
and David Walker, director of the Dance of the Center to Dance with David Walker. We search for that. Then I write over here uh, MSD. Line, click. We're spent with MISD. Um, and David Walker, Director of Transportation, he had 33 years in five with MISDs. MISD. So thank you. Thank you all very much for your work service. Thank you. And thank you to all of those. Yeah. So, yeah. So, another speaker for your service. For your work service. Thank you. And thank you to all of those. Applause that here. So, we put the applause. Thank you. And thank you to all of those. Thank you. And thank you to all of those. Yes. Yeah. So item 9.2 of those. Uh, Ms. Newsom, are there any questions or concerns? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor? Hearing none, all those in favor? Are there concerns? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, may I please, please see a show of hands? Please see a show of hands. Okay. There are none opposed, so the motion passes. Oppose. There are none opposed, so the motion passes. Seven. Opposed, so the motion passes seven. Or none opposed, so the motion passes seven zero. A show of hands. Okay. There are none opposed, so the motion passes seven zero. We'll move to item. Seven zero. We'll move to item ten. Our business. To item ten. Our business. Item and our business items requiring board action. Ten point one. Consider. Ten point one. In verb to don't start the sentence with numerals but if it's a point you just start with it action 10.1 consider approval of the board uh, sorry consider approval of the action action 10.1 consider approval of the board uh, sorry so that's that's a false start, so you delete it and then you continue. Consider approval of the order of election for the May 6, 2023 general election for the Mansfield ISD Board of Trustees. May I please receive a motion? So the motion made by Ms. Farrar. The motion. So the motion made by Ms. Farrar and a second by by Ms. Anderson. Are there any questions? Concerns? Hearing none, may I please see a show of hand for all those in favor? And may I please see a show of hand for all those in favor? Okay, there are none opposed, so the motion.
So the motion passes 7-0. 7-0. The next business item is consideration and approval of action of teacher contract abandonment. May I please receive a motion? Give a motion. <laughs> a tie? No, I'm kidding. 